Hey y'all, what's up? I'm Brian with Fishers Off-Road and I'm coming to you from our Live Talk studio set. We are actually getting set up to do a Live Talk Tuesday, but in the meantime, before we do that, I wanted to talk to you guys about a couple lightweight helmet options. I've seen a lot of talk on Facebook and other social media platforms about uh, do I need a DOT approved helmet if I go riding somewhere that helmets are mandatory? You know, like Hatfield McCoy Trails, for example. They say that you have to have a DOT approved helmet. Now, some people say you can get away with a helmet like the Axle Off-Road helmet, which is not DOT approved. But what I want to show you is this helmet that I just got in today. This is from Crazy Owls, and this is a beanie style helmet. This helmet is 16 ounces, super lightweight, made out of fiberglass, and it also has a quick release latch on it right here. Just pull that and it opens right up. A lot of people like the quick release latch. It's uh, super lightweight, comfortable, convenient. It's got like a really cool liner and interior. Uh, this helmet has about 3,500 five-star reviews on their website. One of the most popular helmets that they offer on Crazy Owls. Uh, it also is an ultra low profile, so you don't have to worry about having a big old mushroom head. It has a one-year warranty. MSRP on this helmet is 129 but right now they're running a special on it on uh, their website for $109.99. So we got quite a few of these helmets. We're going to be using them for our slingshot rentals. And we may even transition over to these in our side-by-side -side rentals as well because it is a DOT approved helmet. And uh, it's a really just a good quality helmet, super lightweight. And uh, it's uh, I think it'd be really popular with a lot of our guests out there on the side-by-sides. Another helmet that we have that uh, we've featured before, the Axle Off-Road Helmet. Axle's a friend of mine, makes a great quality helmet. This is the new Trail Plus helmet, has like a neoprene style interior. Uh, this helmet is 13.6 ounces. It has 17 different uh, ports in it, ventilation ports. And uh, now when you see ventilation ports in a helmet, that is uh, not DOT. There are no DOT approved helmets that have these ventilation ports in them. Um, this is kind of like a high-end uh, sports impact uh, approved helmet. It's, uh, it's good for you know side-by-sides. Some rock bouncers use these. Um, there's a lot of options on this helmet as well. If you have a couple different size heads that you're going to put this helmet on, you can adjust it. So it's a lot like, uh, you know, your kayak helmets or your bike helmets. You can adjust them. A lot of people are familiar with that. This also has a quick release latch on it. So that's, um, that's pretty popular. A lot of people like to be able to just snap it on, snap it off the D-ring. You know, you got to put it in, loop it, pull it back. Some people don't care for that. Uh, these are open face helmets, and I would highly recommend if you're riding an ATV, I'd wear a closed face helmet all the time. But if you're in a side-by-side -side or something like that uh, that has a seat belt and a cage, the open face helmets are pretty popular. And a lot of people don't like wearing heavy helmets nowadays um, just because if they have some neck or back issues or when you're out there riding all day long and you get done, you feel beat up. You feel like your neck is just beat up. You've worn a cinder block all day long. So these two helmets are great options, super lightweight. Uh, it just all depends if you want DOT or non-DOT. So there you go, guys. Hope that helps you out. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. I'll see you. Take care. Have a good one.